Hey everybody, my name is Joe, and I'm a pastor here at Active Church in Ukaipa. And today we're gonna to be sitting with the Perryman family. The Perryman family recently lost their son, Christian, who was a light in this community. He was part of Best Buddies, and he was part of Lighthouse, and he changed the fabric of our city with his love and his compassion. Well, we're gonna be sitting with the family, and they're gonna be sharing some stories about Christian, but what they don't know is that we've invited some friends that they know and they don't know to share how Christian has changed their world forever. And so I wanna invite you to sit with us in this conversation. So Dan and Susie, thank you guys for sitting with me today and sitting with anybody watching right now. I just want to know, tell me about Christian's life. He was in a lot of pain when he was first born because he was born with congenital hydrocephalus. He was in a lot of pain, so he was screaming, but we, you know, those screams could not have been more beautiful because it was clear from the beginning that he was a fighter. You know, they, they were they were trying to keep our expectations lower, but we were gonna do as much as Christian could do. And we would continue to, to push him up. And through all of his actions, from his first breath to his last heartbeat, everything that, that kid did was with love, with kindness, that touched so many people. You may know these stories, but they're stories that you don't know about Christian. And so today I've actually asked some friends that you know and some friends you don't know to share about how Christian has changed their world. So if you guys are all right with that, I'm gonna go get them right now. Yeah. You too, you too. I feel like I know you. Oh my gosh. When I met Thomas last week, I said, I really oh, feel like I already yeah. know you guys oh, because yes. Christian would yes. talk about yes. you so much. Yeah. Well, he's part of our family. Absolutely. Uh, well, he certainly thought so. <laughs> <laughs> One day he walked up to me and he goes, Hey, Mr. Stibby. And I go, How did you know I was here? I didn't see you. He goes, I could feel you. <sighs> what do you mean you can feel me? He goes, every time you come in the store, I'm here. So he'd walk up to me, he would shop with us, talk with us. He had a heart of gold, okay? He was one of the most loving kids I think I've ever met. After one of the shows, he goes, you know, he's like, we need, to, we need to come up with a name for me. The name, this is what he wanted us to call him at our shows, Chrissy Diamond. So oh, I go, okay, God. yeah. And then he says, can you change your, uh, in your phone, I want to change your contact name to that. So I know joke to this day on my phone, I still have Chrissy now. <laughs> the last time we text, uh, it's funny, he texts me, I get a people go, who the heck is Chrissy? <laughs> I can tell that he had like, some disabilities, but I didn't really know what they were. And then I, once I got to know him a little bit, I started realizing what they were. But it's so cool to know that whenever you're having a bad day, whether it's a good or bad day, he wanted to make you smile, he wanted to make you happy. And whenever I saw that, it really brought a smile to my face and like warmed my, warmed my heart. One day I was at Vons and I had like three things in my cart and he told the cashier, I need to help her out. And I was like, oh my God, he's like, no, I need to help my wife out. She, she's been having some struggles lately. And I was like, struggles? And then we walked out and he goes, I just had to get out of there. I <laughs> and passion for all people and people, especially, especially those who need him the most. I love you, Can I hug you, buddy? Elijah, he loved you he so, loved you so much. Oh, that was a surprise. Christian's life inspired so much life. The moments that Christian had of changing people's lives and changing their stories forever. He's leaving a legacy. And I want you guys to know that that legacy really began with you too. 
So thank you guys for being incredible parents. And thank you for sharing Christian's life with us. But I do have one more surprise for you and I hope you guys are ready for this. So I'm gonna grab my buddy, Mike, really quickly. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. Oh. Uh, first I wanna give these, these to you. Thank just, you. Uh, a gift thank from you us. so much. Something else that we'd like to do. We have what we call the Dollar Club at Active. We've invited our church to give $1 more than what they normally give, or give $1 if they've never given before. And we're gonna use that resource to tell better stories because we believe that you can tell a better story no matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing, mm -hmm. you're one decision away from that. Mm -hmm. And so our church this last month has been participating in the Dollar Club. And so we have two gifts for you. One's personal and one is in honor of Christians. So the first one is a gift for you it's $500 and we want you to go on a trip somewhere. Whenever you can, we want you to take this and, and go and live it up, all right? On us, our gift to you. Thank you so much for sharing Christian's life with us. And then we have a second gift. Yes, yes. And this second gift is in honor of the life that Christian lived and the organization that changed Christian's life and your life and this world forever. We're also gonna be giving $500 in Christian's name to Lighthouse. Uh because I believe that's what Christian would want. Yeah, absolutely. And so, absolutely. And so we hope in some way that this can throw a pizza party, this can yeah. throw oh another concert, gosh. this can be something incredible for the Lighthouse organization. And we want you to know that it's because of your son that we have such a heart for Lighthouse now. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm. I can't, I cannot tell you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. I, I can't even, I mean, thank you.